Hey everyone, welcome back to Above Assisi channel and greetings from Malaysia. In today's video, we're gonna show you how we're able to upgrade solder GPU on a MacBook Pro. Introducing the XGPU project, a hardcore modification project to upgrade low end GPU to high end GPU externally. As we all know, all GPUs on MacBooks are soldered to the board, and what we're doing is not literally soldering other AMD chips onto the NVIDIA footprint. So, how do we? on the upper left corner and it shows a MacBook Pro 15-inch 2012 running on Catalina with 16 gigs of RAM. Open the system report and head to the graphics display tab then we'll see Intel HD 4000 as the basic display driver and the RX 5700 XT GPU connected via PCIe X8. Then click the MVM Express tab, you'll see Samsung 970 EVO connected via PCIe X4 running at 5 giga transfers per second. Click the SATA Express tab and you'll see two Samsung SATA SSDs connected. Now let us perform a quick speed test to these SSDs. Launch AJ speed test, then choose Samsung NVMe drive and press start. That's around 1500 Mbps per second of read and write. Next, choose SATA SSD and press start, but this time SATA SSDs only gives you around 500 Mbps per second of read and write. Max Fan Control software lets you monitor hardware temperature but it seems like it can't read the temperature reading for the RX 5700 XT. Now, if you are wondering if this XGPU unit is permanently attached or not, so we will turn off our MacBook Pro now followed by the XGPU unit. As both units have been shut down, it's now safe to disconnect the XGPU unit. Then we will externally connect another Samsung 970 EVO mounted on a cheap PCI adapter you can find off the internet. Just plug it in through the DVD drive slit and make sure it gets in all the way through. As we turn on the MacBook Pro again, you'll see the blue LED lights start flashing when the computer loads the macOS system. So we've booted all the way through and we're gonna start AJA speed test again, but this time we're gonna choose the externally connected Samsung 970 Evo.
There you go, that's around 2400 megabit per second of write speed and over 3000 megabit per second of read speed. This is because the external NVMe is connected to PCIe X4 at 8GB transfers per second or PCIe 3.0 comparing to internal NVMe that is connected only at 5GB transfers per second or PCIe 2.0. Why there's so much difference to the PCIe speed in one MacBook Pro? We will explain this in our next video. Now we will shut down the computer and remove the external NVMe Samsung 970 EVO Then we will connect another XGP unit RX590 that we talked about earlier. Chip GPU design is you can't find any new chips around the market. Even if you found working chips, they might have been pulled out from a good working system. So the easiest solution for us to solve this problem is to permanently disable the secondary GPU and only use Intel HD as the main display driver. But Intel HD does not optimize for video processing at all. So instead of leaving the GPU footprint unused, we extract the PCIe lanes on the logic board and reroute them to connect with our XGPU unit that allows us to connect a much powerful GPU available on the market. That's it for now. In the next video, we will show you how we're able to extract the PCIe lanes on the logic board to our specially designed PCB. We will also show the most powerful AMD's GPU lineup in 2021 that is Radeon RX 6900 XT with 16 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM whether or not can be used in this modified MacBook Pro. This blazing fast GPU scores 25,673 points on the Passmark website that makes it the first ranked GPU beating RTX 3090 by several points behind. If you love and want to see more modification videos like this, hit the thumbs up, share it to your friends if you want to. In the future, we will upload more videos on our channel about solid RAM upgrade and we will also show how to add NVMe support for 2011 iMacs as well as videos for M1 Mac Mini modifications attempt. So don't forget to click the subscribe button to not miss our next video at iBuff RCC channel, reverse engineering at its best.